In this work, robots can learn new tasks by watching a single third-person demonstration by a human, along with an unstructured and unlabeled collection of videos. Besides this single video demonstration, no supervision is provided to the system. We demonstrate the same approach on a diverse set of tasks with real and simulated robots, a pouring task, a dish placement task, and a pose imitation task. The first step of our approach is to learn disentangled representations from video using time as a supervision signal. In particular, we use multiple synchronized viewpoints of the same scene as a rich signal for discovering different attributes in the world. This embedding is trained with an unstructured and unlabeled collection of videos. These contain positive demonstrations of the task, but also random interactions to cover a general set of possible states in the world. Our model uses a triplet loss trained on multi-viewpoint observation. Co-occurring frames from multiple viewpoints are attracted to each other in the embedding space, while visually similar frames from nearby time steps in the same video are pulled apart. This encourages the embedding to be invariant to viewpoint, but sensitive to semantic cues that are indicative of time, such as whether liquid is pouring into a cup. We can also consider a time contrastive model trained on only one view. This time, the positive frame is randomly selected within a certain range of the anchor. A margin range is then computed given the positive range. Negatives are randomly chosen outside the margin range, and the model is trained as before. The second step of our approach is to use reinforcement learning to learn policies on top of TCN embeddings. Given a single third-person human demonstration, a reward function is constructed. That function rewards following the progression of the video at the semantic level. The robot arm initially tries random motions, then learns to reuse the controls yielding the highest rewards, and finally, converges to reproducing the demonstrated task. The model converges after only nine iterations, which is about 15 minutes of real-world training time. Similarly, in the dish-moving task, the robot initially tries random motions, then learns to successfully pick up and move a plate. In particular, opening and closing the gripper at the appropriate time. We explore another way to learn robotic control for the task of human pose imitation. As before, the robot learns an invariant TCN embedding by observing humans and itself without any correspondence labels. Then the robot learns to control its own body by training to output its internal state given an image of itself. Because the TCN embedding is invariant to humans and robots, the robot can then imitate humans instead of imitating itself. Here we show the resulting imitation using a real robot. We observe that the robot was able to discover the mapping between its own body and a human body entirely on its own using TCN and self-regression. Open source code and data are available at these addresses.